Standing tall for over a thousand years, this olive tree has survived wars, invasions and storms, but now its days are numbered. Like so many other olive trees in the Italian region of Puglia, it's been contaminated by the Xylella fastidiosa bacteria, for which there's no cure. Farmers say the bacteria was introduced by plants imported from Costa Rica a few years ago. It's since devastated southeast Italy, an area responsible for over 30% of the country's olive oil production. Parla di oltre 40.000 hectares fortemente compromessi. Around 40,000 hectares has been heavily compromised. From a production point of view, it means we have companies that haven't grown any olives for three years, and there are others that are beginning to see early signs of the disease. It's a similar story for Pantaleo Pacchino's farm near Lecce, a family-run olive grove stretching 270 hectares. For several months, the trees here have been diseased with the bacteria. You can see the strength of this tree, which is growing new shoots. But if you look closely, there are dried branches. That's why we call it a progressive illness. Look at this one, it's completely under attack and will soon be dead. Following a push by the EU last spring, the government launched a controversial plan to chop down 3,000 olive trees to prevent the spread of the disease. But prosecutors questioned the link between the bacteria and the dried out wood, blocked the EU order to carry out the cull and put 10 people tasked with tackling the disease under investigation. Our expert told us that there was no absolute certainty that xylella bacteria is the only thing responsible for what's happening. In light of this, we wanted to prevent the destruction of part of Salento's identity related to the olive tree. That's why we opened an investigation for environmental destruction. Puglia remains the epicentre of the olive disease, but the bacteria has also appeared in Corsica and southeast France with fears it could spread further. <laughs>